Y94 on the Playhouse in the Morning and the Cares for Kids Radiothon. We are in year 23, and joining us in studio is, well, of course, Emma, the star of the show, but mom and dad, Brianna and Tyrell as well. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. Yes, thank you. Well, if, what would you say was your experience? Thank today? you. Oh, Emma. Oh, Emma. <laughs> You know what? Scratch everything. Lose the questions. We don't need them. Emma, let's talk. Emma, how old are you? Five. You are five years old. I love your teddy bear. Thank you. He has such a fun shirt on. What's on that shirt? Dairy Queen. Oh, man. I like Dairy Queen. Do you like Dairy Queen? Yes. Best thing in Dairy Queen. What is it? Ice cream. Oh, yeah, they do have ice cream. <laughs> it is true. Do you have a name for your bear yet or no? Yes. What's the bear's name? Ava. Ava. <laughs> That's pretty good. Teddy, bear, oh. Ava. like that. All of my stuffies are Avas. <laughs> Wait, every stuff you have has the same name? Okay, here's a problem, though. And I don't know if you've thought about this, Emma. Hmm. How do you know which one is which? Like, when you say, I'm looking for Ava, how does anyone know which one you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. And if you say, Ava, come here, all the stuffies come. Yeah, bears, unicorns, everything coming all over the place. It's just very confusing. Does he have any pants? You know what? He doesn't have any pants, son. I don't know what it is about bears. They never wear pants. Just tops, like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. We'll check and see if we can. I don't know if we have any pants. I haven't seen any. We'll look around. <laughs> well, Mom and Dad, we're wondering, Sanford Children's Hospital, what brought you guys there? Uh, so we, we were actually in uh, Grand Forks uh, at a softball tournament that my wife and I were playing in. And um, dur- during the gameplay, a, a ball was thrown over the fence and hit, hit Emma in the back of the head. And, mm. uh, it, you know, from that point, we were in an ambulance to all true and – Grand Forks, and then flowing from there down to Sanford Children's because, uh, well, they they had the only availability at that time. Mm-hmm. So, for what we needed uh, with the traumatic brain injury. Now, when it comes to the care you received there, I mean, tell us about your experience there. How did it go? <laughs> I did, Honestly, they did... Awesome job with Emma. Uh, from from the moment they got there, they, like when they got there, there was twenty people waiting, ready uh, to go in the emergency department, and then uh, all the way through the PICU and 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 then the pediatric unit itself. Uh, it, it was it was tremendous care. Um, you know, doctors were there. They answered any questions we had. They were able to interpret everything into plain English for us. Mm-hmm. Explain what was going on, and it, it, it was just great experience top to bottom. So, Emma, do you remember when you were at the hospital? What was it like? The Kali cabin. You remember that? What did you do there? Play. With what kind of toys? The baby doll. Baby doll. Was the baby doll's name Ava? Yes. <laughs> Could have guessed, yeah. probably. Yeah. So, when it comes to when we talk about kind of the difference between like a hospital and a children's hospital, a lot of things that come up are things like Cully's Cabin, things that kind of differentiate it, make it a little bit more kid friendly. What are some of the other things you guys experienced that made you go like, "Wow, this place is made for kids"? They actually got her to take her medicine. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they they did a joy jar, and if she got she got a sticker for taking medicine and eating and drinking because she wasn't I wanting hate to do any. The no. <laughs> yeah, she didn't want to do any of that, so they did a joy jar, and that got her to take all the medicine, eat the food, and drink. I'm the <laughs> same yeah, she way. Wasn't <laughs> but yeah, it's been. They were great. They explained everything to us, and couldn't can't remember any other names though. There's just so many doctors in and out and nurses, but they were all so wonderful. How long were you guys at Sanford Children's? Uh, four, four days. Four days. Yep. Two days in the PICU and two days in the regular wing. Well, one of the, the main things that we're trying to accomplish is to really persuade people to go, you know what, this children's hospital and everything it's all about is worth my 66 cents a day. 
as people that got to experience it firsthand, see some of those extra amenities that are really only there because of things like this, why would you encourage someone to pick up the phone and, and make that donation? So, I, I mean, to me, it's just, no, number one, the, the experience that your child has while they're there is an excellent experience. Um, the, the amenities that they have for kids on site is, is, is great. The, the Cully's cabin was awesome. They had toys for all age groups. I, I mean, from infant all the way to teenage years. And uh, the e- even before, you know, Emma was able to go to Cully's cabin, uh, just some of the things that they did with the, her in, in the room to – keep her occupied and make her stay easier. You know, they were in, they made slime with her one day and they, they did different things like that. And it was just, just a good experience for, for the child to make them as comfortable as they can be in a, in a strange environment. So. Well, we really do appreciate you guys coming in today and and sharing your story and just, uh, you know, it's good to see that she, I mean, she's up running around, playing with balloons, playing with her many Ava stuffies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just really great to see how well things seem to be going for you guys. Yeah, you wouldn't even know this happened. 